Hey, what is going on? So I'm gonna go ahead and briefly go over some methods that you can use to go ahead and get your monitor out of sleep mode, whether it randomly falls while you're doing something into sleep mode, or whether you turn on your computer and the monitors are stuck on sleep mode or power mode and they won't let you basically boot up. So I'm using Bandicam by the way, hopefully you don't mind the watermark. Anyways, step number one, updates check for updates how do you do that you're gonna right click here your Windows logo go to device manager and you're gonna go ahead and go over to display adapters you're gonna right click on Intel or graphics basically what you want to do is check all of them to be honest but we'll go ahead and check this I actually just checked for this and I had an update my computer was pretty choppy as well but now it's perfectly fine go ahead and click that and then you go ahead and update if you have one otherwise it'll tell you uh, if you're good to go number two power options so what that means is you have to go ahead and change your power options you're gonna go to personalize by right clicking go to home click on notifications and power power and sleep go ahead and change this to never change that to never click on this I have balance which is recommended because I've selected power saver as well as um, a high performance and they've both given me issues so I just stuck to balance you're gonna go ahead and switch this to never never of course at any time you can go ahead and switch to whatever you want <clears throat> so opening advanced power settings you'll get this You'll go ahead and expand that, expand this, change that to never, which is basically zero. You'll go ahead and go down to sleep, sleep after, <clears throat> sleep after, change it to never. Uh, system on the 10 to sleep timeout setting, you can put 20 minutes. I put 20 minutes just because if I'm not using it, I'm fine with that. Allow hybrid sleep, I have it as off. Hibernate after never. A lot wake timers disable. Go into USB settings. They are disabled. That's basically some of the major points. You can go ahead and change the rest as well. Hit apply and then OK. So we're done with this. Moving on to our list monitor settings. Uh, your monitor should have buttons to let you use their menu. Uh, each monitor is different but for mine mine's are Dell I can go basically all the way down in my menu to other settings and disable power saving mode I believe only a few more modern monitors have that option make sure that's basically off number four cables make sure all your cables are fully inserted whether it's the monitor cables or uh, cables connected to your computer uh, a lack of let's say connection may be an issue to where your computer automatically either shuts down powers down or is not receiving enough power um, so make sure every cable is inserted and see if that works now for number five if you go to your task manager by pressing Control alt and delete you'll be greeted with this page and it shows you all your apps your current apps that are currently on right now It'll show you your CPU, memory, disk, network, and how much power they're currently taking. So just make sure your CPU and your memory isn't, um, you know, being used too much. Maybe you go ahead and close some of these down, some things that you really aren't using. Uh, you don't want to overexert your computer, uh, which leads me to basically, you know, make sure that your either your fans aren't like on full blast. If they are, then that's usually a sign that something's occurring with your computer uh, and it's exerting itself. So this is a method to um, basically reset your modem, I guess you can say. Um, it's like a soft reset, I believe. You go ahead and disconnect all the monitor cables on the modem. You're gonna go ahead and hold the power down, power button either for 20 or 30, just do 30 seconds. Uh, make sure your computer's off and then go ahead and connect the cables first 
turn on the computer and hopefully that goes ahead goes and takes you out of the power save mode um but yeah so far i hope at least one of these has helped you out uh the last one you're gonna want to go ahead and clean your ram what is a coin basically next to your graphics card and your fans dust and such may affect the fans usage their power and can then lead to overheating um, your RAM itself too you want to make sure that it's getting a full connection because if it's not your monitor is going to be stuck in that power save mode when you boot up uh, so right before this actually I actually cleaned my RAM my fan and I couldn't remove the coin I'm gonna be honest um, but for the RAM I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, sort of what it looks like or what to do I'll go ahead and put this right next to this uh, clip all right, so we're over here on my computer. Hopefully you like how it looks. Anyways, what you wanna do is you're gonna want to go ahead and basically, first of all, power off your computer. Make sure your fans are clean. I have two on my graphics. I have one in the back. I have two over here. No, I have one. And uh, make sure all the dust is clean. What I did is I basically cleaned everything I made sure there was no dust. It was relatively clean to be honest, but this one was kind of dusty. Um, so that's basically the first thing you want to do. Now, if you look behind this Doom guy, you have what are your RAM cards. If you push that black thing here to the back and push the other one to the back, you should be able to remove the RAM cards relatively easy. You'll go ahead and see a gold strip around the RAM card. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna clean it. You can use something simple as an eraser. Just make sure there's no eraser residue left over. Or you can go ahead and also use a soft bristle to clean it, you know. Make sure that it's clean though, first of all. And then just go ahead and insert them again. Make sure they're fully inserted. Uh, you'll know they're fully inserted when you don't get a light down here. It says DRAM, I believe. You can currently see a light here, but it's a VGA because I don't have any VGA cables. But if they're uh, fully inserted, you shouldn't be getting a light. And you shouldn't be able to see at the bottom of this card a, a small little gold strip. Uh, if you basically insert it from the bottom first and then push it in from the top, you'll hear a clamp. Make sure you do this carefully. And uh, they both, both should work. Uh, another way you know that it's working is besides the lights is that the monitors are actually going to boot up and they won't be stuck on that power save mode so it actually took me a few tries to kind of realize this um i actually you know took out my graphics i did a bunch of stuff and um the monitors were stuck you know so then i finally realized that this wasn't inserted right because of the light and they booted uh the computer booted up perfectly um the coin that i've been talking about too it's like a small circular you know coin i forgot the name but it's basically right behind this so you're gonna have to go ahead and remove uh, the graphics card and then just take the coin out it's like a little little disc little coin and just clean that up too um but yeah that's basically it i have a mess of cables back here you can't really see it i bought uh small covers to kind of put them together but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, make sure your updates are are good. Your power options are switched. Your monitor settings have the power savings off. The uh, cables are fully inserted. And uh, make sure your fans are running good. Your computer is not overexerting itself or overheating. Um, you can do the DPI soft reset with your monitors. Uh, you can also exchange the DPI cables if they're not working. Um, that might be another reason why too. Usually the factory ones are the best ones, but sometimes they come faulty. Um, and then of course, you know, clean your, your computer. Uh, honestly, I've had mine for like a year and this is the first time that I actually cleaned it and it was, I mean, super clean. But yeah, I feel like this video has gone on uh, long enough. Hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, uh, feel free to give it a like. Feel free to subscribe. I'm not too tech savvy. I did build my computer. 
but um i'll try to answer any other questions and to be honest this is basically some research that i did because i have the same issues i do these videos whenever i can um but yeah see you next time thanks for watching